Okay, so let's look at this exam question to do with cumulative frequency curves. So it says the diagram shows a cumulative frequency graph for the time t taken to perform certain tasks by 2,000 men. Okay, so we have time in seconds here and then the cumulative frequency. Now remember, this means it's a running total. Okay, right now there's our graph and we're going to use that in a moment. Now let's look at the various questions. So first of all it says use the diagram to estimate the median time then it says the upper quartile and lower quartile and the interquartile range okay so let's work out all those three first of all okay so the median let me write it here median right okay the median now first of all because we have 2000 people together um, and we don't know what the raw data figures are we just have this curve and we're just estimating um, well, first of all, the median's halfway, so let's halve that first of all, that's a thousand. Okay, so what we need to do is go to thousand, uh, thousand on our cumulative frequency axis, okay? Let me do it in a different colour, and then what we do is we go along, and then touch the curve, and then go down, and read that particular value, so these are all probably one, so one, two, three, so the median is going to be thirteen. Okay, right now it asks us to work out the upper quartile and the lower quartile, and then we're going to use that obviously to work out the interquartile range. Okay, right, the upper quartile now. This is the halfway point, this is the median. Okay, so your lower quartile, let's work out that first. Your lower quartile is going to be halfway from this point to the bottom here, so the halfway distance here, that's your lower quartile. Remember, we're going to chop it up into quarters, so that's halfway, and a half of that is going to be another quarter, so um, a half of a thousand is 500, so we go along and down, okay, and that's exactly 10, okay, exactly 10, okay, and then your upper quartile is going to be halfway between the median and the very top of your graph, which is 2000, so halfway between 1000 and 2000 is 150, so let's work out the upper quartile. So the upper quartile we go along to our graph and then down. Okay, we should really be using a ruler, but that's anyway, never mind, that's 16. Okay, so that's your answer to the part second part. Okay, and then the interquartile range is obviously the difference between them, so we just do 16 take away 10, which is 6. So that is the interquartile range, upper and lower and the median. Okay, now let me rub all this out. Okay, now let's look at the next question. Okay, so let me actually just do it like this. Select all and delete. No, all right, well, let me do it. Okay, let me rub it out instead. Okay, right, let's look at the next question, the next part of it. We're going to have to use the graphs. I'm going to have to be scrolling back and forth between the two. Right, it says, find the number of men who took more than 11 seconds to perform the task. And more than 11 seconds, right. Okay, so let's go back to this. Okay, so more than 11 seconds. Right, so on our time axis, here's 11 seconds. And we want to basically work out how many people were on this side of 11 seconds, okay, including 11 seconds. So all we need to do really is just look at our cumulative frequency. So we go up from 11. Oops, actually, that's not really good at all. Let me use a, actually, let's just use a straight line tool on my computer. So, 11 seconds is here. Okay, 11 seconds is here. All right, well, let me do it. Okay, now I'll have to try and estimate. So 11 seconds going up, touching the line here, and looking across. Okay, well, let's see what that number would be. All right, so we've got, well, if we make some lines on here, so 500, that's going to be 600, that's going to be 700, that's 800, that's 900, and then that takes you to 1,000. So we're halfway between 600 and 700. So 650 is that number here, okay? 650 in there. Right, but it says, so that's what that means is 650 men took 11 seconds or less. So what we want to do is work out how many took more than 11 seconds, 11 seconds more. So we've got 2,000 people all together. So 2,000 take away... 650, what do you call 1350? Okay, and that's how many people um, did the time did the task in 11 seconds or more. Okay, so that's that there. 
Okay, right now, let's look at the next part. Okay, the next part. So that's that answer there, that's 1350. Okay, and the next question says 55% um, of the men took less than p seconds to perform the task. Find the value of p. So we're trying to work out a time. So we're looking for a particular number here where 55% of the uh, people did it in that time or less. Okay, so because we have 2,000 people all together. What we want to do is work out 55% of that. So multiply that by 0.55, which is 55% of something. Okay, so 55% of that, 0.55, which is 1,100. Okay, so what we want to do is on our cumulative frequency here, we're going to work backwards. We're going to try and find 1,100. So 1,100, well, that's 250. So 1,100 has got to be there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go across and down. Okay, and it's really halfway between that square. It's right here. It's halfway between that square and that half halfway between that number and that number. Well, if we look at our axis, that's 13 and that's 14. So P, that particular value, is going to be 13.5. So 13.5 is what p is equal to. So that time means that 55% of the people here did that particular task less than 13.5 seconds. Okay, and that's the answer to that. So we're working backwards a little bit. Okay, right now let's look at the next particular question, the next particular one. Okay, so um, it says this. So we have our table here. Now we've got the frequency table, not cumulative frequency, we've got frequency table. It says the times taken for 2,000 men were grouped as shown in the following, following intervals, 5 to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 25. And it wants to work out what these values are, A and B. Okay. Right, but remember, cumulative frequency is a running total. Okay, so cumulative frequency is a running total. So what it means by that is that where you would plot the graph is you'd plot the first point at 10 on your time, but up to 500, okay? That would be your first point. And then the second point would be plotted at 15, or is at the end of the interval, but it's going to be 500 add this, okay? Which would be 2,200. And then I'd have to add A and then work out what that is to plot it at 20 and then work, add that to whatever B is and plot that at 25, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to try and work out what A and B are. So first of all, let's go back to our graph, okay? So now, okay, well, hang on one second. 15 and 20 is the interval for what A is, so 15 and 20, okay? So let's see, 15 and 20, right? Now, first of all, okay, 15, here's the interval for A, here's the interval for A, 15 and 20, and it starts at, what's this number here? So that's going to be 1, um, let's see, that's 1, that's 1,100, 1,200, 1,300, that's 1,400, that's 1,350. Okay, that's that particular point in in purple here. Okay, that there. And the interval ends, if we go to 20 and go up, it ends at this particular value. So that value is, well, that's going to be 1,800, that's 1,900. So that end value is 1,850. Okay, and then the difference between those two, okay, if we subtract them, oops, if we subtract them, that's 500. That means we have 500 people in this little interval here. So A is 500. Okay. Right now, let's work out B. Now B is basically going from this point here, 20 to 25. That's B. Okay. Let me do it in a different color. So we know that the interval starts at this value, which we already know is this one here, 1850. And it ends at, well, it ends at 2,000, the very top of it, 2,000. Okay, if we work out the difference between those two values, that's a difference of 150. Well, that's what B is. That's B. Okay, that's B. 
Okay, so let's put those informations back in that table. Okay, so let me rub it out. So we've got 500 for A, 500 for A, and then, oops, so, so let's write those numbers in. That's 500, and that's 150. Just working out how many people are in that block. Okay, now we're going to use our calculator to do the next bit. It even says use your calculator to find an estimate for the mean and the standard deviation. So you're not expected to do it by hand because that will take forever. So let's do it on calculator. So what we need to do, remember we need to, we've got group data here. So we need to write down the uh, midpoints, the halfway values between 5 and 10. Okay, well that's going to be 7.5 and then halfway between 10 and 15 is going to be 12.5 and then the next one's 17.5 and the next one's 22.5. We're going to use those, okay? Right, let me just pause it and get the calculator up. Okay, so what I've done here is I have taken the table, the table data, and put it into this, uh, put it into the um, spreadsheet here, brand new spreadsheet 1.1. And we've got time here, these are the midpoint times and the frequency, okay, and just typing it in. And then we'll just go to menu, stats, stats calculation, one variable again, number of lists is one. Um, Where's your column? It's in column T because I did T for time. And then have you got a frequency list? Yes, it's in F. Is column C empty to put the results in? Yes. And then we have all our information here. So we've got, let's see, it says, first of all, we want the mean. Well, let's write that down. That's 13.25. So 13.25 is the answer here. 13. Point. Let's just go back to the calculator. 13.25, yeah. And then the standard deviation is okay standard deviation is 4.41 okay 4.41 try to write your answers to three significant figures 4.41 right so they're the answers there just basically using our calculator to do all the hard work right now it says this everyone who performs a task in less than less than one standard deviation below the mean will receive a bonus. So Pedro takes 9.5 seconds to perform the task. Okay, so less than one standard deviation below the mean. Well, the mean we worked out is 13.25. Okay, and then we want one standard deviation less than that. So we want to subtract one of these 4.41s. Okay, and then that is going to be roughly 8.84. Let me just double check that on the calculator. So 2, 5, take away 4.41 is 8.84. Yep, okay, now, so Pedro does not have a figure below this. So the answer is, does he re receive a bonus? The answer is no. Poor old Pedro. Okay. And that's pretty much it for this question. And that's uh, cumulative frequency curves in a nutshell.